Alright guys, I will be right with you as fast as I can. I'm just, uh, you know, uploading the VOD to YouTube and stuff. So one second, be right there. Jesus Christ, Steelix! What did you... You can't do that, Steelix. I'm busy trying to do other stream things. That's kind of OD, bro. Alright, well, I saw that the, the double freaking spike. By the way, the, the strikes uh, on Steelix's side were FD and PS2, where Gotham's strikes were Battlefield and Smashville. Um, god damn. That's a god damn. Alright, so Gotham evening up the stocks, but uh, too little too late maybe? Let's see how, like he's pretty high percent. We'll see what he can do to adjust. Alright, I can finally talk about the match now. Uh, okay, so Celix looks like he's up a stock, but, you know, uh, Gotham did a pretty good job of evening up the percents. Uh, yeah, and now Gotham gonna even up those uh, stocks, and at uh, like a pretty decent uh, percentage. So, you know, 50 damage uh, behind, not too big of a deal. Gotham takes it. I, I, I don't know enough about Min Min to like really talk about like what kinds of pressures. Like we can let's let's go through that together like a little bit slower because like that. All right. So diffuses his pressure uh, with that nair. It actually beat the Falco forward air. Yeah, honestly, like because that move is big, but like she's got a lot of disjoint. Down tilt into. Uh, I forget what that move. Which ram? I think that's ram ram. Into, okay, yeah, so Ram Ram Nair into a uh, Trogdor. So, yikes. Let's see that first stock, though. That was kind of OD. Huh? It was like, huh? One. A two. God damn. But this is a uh, Gotham's game, so let's see what happens. Uh, this is going to be Steelix's counter pick. Uh, Gotham's bands were Battlefield and Smashville. Pretty understandable. Those are like normal uh, Falco counter picks because he can do uh, throw combos on the top platform. Like the Battlefield platform is just the right height to get them to connect, so he can kill you off the top pretty easily. And also gets very similar stuff with the Smashville platform. Obviously, it covers a greater distance, but uh, yeah, still has some crazy sauce on that. Um, yeah, so. Gotham, please jump. Good lord. I'm begging you. Alright. Pretty even percents right now. Uh, she had the beefy arm, so there was a throw uh, somewhere in there. Alright. Yeah, see, this is going to take the first stock. And yeah, doing a really good job of just like keeping back, and Gotham's kind of like, kind of struggling to get things going. And yeah, now Steelix is turning it around. Get now a full stock lapping. Full stock lead. Oop, this could be it. 
Are we going to keep recovering high? Oh, okay. Did like a pretty mid-ish uh, recovery. Nice down smash. To All right. Yeah, I respect it. And still able to make it back. Went hella deep. That's uh, kind of spooky for Falco. Uh, however, you know, did end up putting himself in a precarious situation in an edge guard scenario. And uh, Gotham able to capitalize. So now evening up the stocks here. Jeez, and the up tilt back air. Classic stuff. Now Celix once again in a, uh, a really strong lead. <laughs> I love the fact that he's just not afraid to just blast. You know? And like, honestly, it, it's kind of working. Oh, we got the big grab. So now we have the beefy arm. Trogdor is online. There, yep. Oh my god. All right, I like the low recovery. Kept the jump. And, ooh, really like the fact that we did the uh, the air dodge to grab the ledge. No uh, no, hover there and say, please kill me with the, the Firebird. Okay. Ooh, all right. Honestly, that was a really good uh, good evasion by Silix, but Gotham had it covered. Great weight with the other arm swing. And, yeah. So now, on even stocks again. We've, we've been here before. Twice even. So what can Gotham do to change things up to... Completely reverse this around. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this could be this could be it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it, <gasps> she died first. Oh, because the spike wasn't strong enough. Wow, that's kind of hilarious. Yeah, because that that was a really good play, but because he was only at fifteen, the you know like, I mean I guess her percentage doesn't matter. Yeah, he's only at fifteen. So like when he goes for this. It actually isn't that strong of a spike, so it's very weak. So, actually, like the, like we're below the camera like a little bit now. Like the, uh, like, was it the camera blast zone is like around here, and he fall fell past it because he wasn't in like that heavy, uh, wasn't in that heavy, uh, what is it, like knockback. So he like exited soon uh, early enough so that uh, wouldn't get like the spike death and stuff like that. Probably thought it was going to trade. Ooh, yeah, I mean, that's also pretty valid because uh, Falco's uh, up B is a trade machine because, like, you know, how, how it works and all that. All right, so uh, Steelix's bands were Kalos and PS2. And Gotham's counterpick is running it back to town and city. Three, two, one, go! Boom, boom, boom. All right, I mean, honestly, like, the way the, the reversal happened on game one, uh... Like, I understand, uh, like, kind of running it back. Oh, right, because Gotham won here on game one with that, like, quick reversal. Yeah, okay, I kind of understand. Uh, yeah, so Gotham is the one bringing it back. Yeah, I, I mean, like, leaving it open, uh, like, it was pretty even. And, like, that kind of, the way the game ended um, is very, like, understandable. Like, you know, Steelix is like, yeah, that's fine. And as we can see, already going to be taking a pretty... Pretty handsome lead. Only taking less than 40 damage. And now working on extra. Oh boy, we're going to keep going. Man, I'm just loving how he's just like controlling space like at like that weird, like close to the ground, but like not on the ground. Like it's just like this uh, really interesting space that, you know, being at the ledge lets you take advantage of because like the way Falco's jumps are and like how meaty his moves are, you know, being able to just like fall past the ledge and then rise and just be in that awkward area that's still below the uh, the platform and like use his arrows because he normally wouldn't be able to like do his aerials in that fashion because of like how big his jumps are. Yeah, so right now Zelix has not only has not taken 50 da uh well all right has not taken 60 damage and and Gotham's on his last dot. Gonna have to take the stock now, Gotham. Bop, 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 bop. By the way, the winner of this is going to be fighting Dill. So, 
Uh, Dill is the one who sent uh, Gotham two losers. So, you know, that was really early, I'm pretty sure. Like, it was in, like, pools. It wasn't even qualifiers, I don't think. So, Gotham hasn't had a crazy bracket run. And that's going to be it. Yeah, so two stock by Steelix. Had enough already? So let's see how these skills are. Skills went through. Wow, the Falco Phantasm to the uh, the back air. Like that's kind of a standard thing, but like the way it happened, you know, like still just being able to like capitalize on on those hits, because like he's just really trained with it. Great job uh, by Steelix. Wow, punishing that. Was that a was that a ledge jump? I think it was. Oh no, he just did an attack. Okay, I see. Alright, so Wow. Um Yeah, so Steelix already guaranteed third at uh Xeno two forty. That's crazy.